finding scholarly articles using Google Scholar. Google is an excellent resource for finding information on a vast number of topics, but because of the number of articles, websites, postings, and more on Google, it can be hard to verify what is an accurate source. If you are writing a paper or researching for a project, then Google Scholar is a good starting point. First, let's navigate to the correct window. Type into your search bar, scholar.google.com or .ca. You'll be shown another search bar that is similar to the standard Google search engine. I want to find articles on electric cars, so I will type that into the search bar. Several results will show up relating to electric cars. You can narrow these results by navigating to the left-hand side of the page. From there, you can limit the results to a certain time range, whether you want the most relevant or the newest search results, and whether you want the results to include citations, patents, or both. Using Google Scholar in this way will bring up open access resources that are accessible to anyone. Google Scholar can also allow you to access databases specific to your college's library. In order for Google Scholar to know which databases your library has access to, you need to click on the drop-down menu in the top left corner. Then choose Settings. From there, you click Library Links. You can use this search bar to type in the name of your college. If there are more than one option, make sure to carefully look over the results and choose the correct one. You can choose up to five libraries. Once you have chosen your library, you can click Save. When you return to the Google Scholar search bar, you can now see when we search for electric cars, the results that come up are from both Algonquin College and the open resources. Once you have found an article you would like to use, Google Scholar also provides citations. If you choose the Cite button under the article, a pop-up will show you how to cite the article in different citation formats. You can directly copy and paste these citations to use in your own work, or there are options at the bottom of the window to export the citations directly to sites, like BibText and EndNote. You now know how to use Google Scholar as a resource to find scholarly articles for assignments, projects, and more.